What's going on you guys? This is MXKD. I have another HP MP9 G2 Micro and it's, uh, let me show you guys the front the USB ports right here, 3.0, here's a power bar right here real nice system, it's got an Intel Core i3 6th generation here's a display port, VGA port, serial port, USB 3.0 ports and a gigabit right here and there's a power plug-in right there Real nice micro system, it's an Intel Core i3 but you can upgrade to i5 So you're gonna move the thumb screw right here And you're gonna slide it to the right side like this Right, right side, take off the cover And We're gonna start off with our hard drive, so we're gonna upgrade to solid state drive We're gonna upgrade to larger solid state drive in here so to do that, there's going to be a clip right here. Press it up to release the solid state drive. And you're going, to, you're going to move it to the left side, turn it to the left to release it. And be really careful here, the tab right here to take out the SATA and power. Disconnect adapter. And you're going to be using, a, you can use a flathead screwdriver or the screws right here is actually a Torx T15. Screwdriver right here. You guys show you the picture closer. It's a Torx T15, and you're gonna be using to remove the screws right here for the hard, for the solid state drive to upgrade. Now, if you don't have the Torx uh, screwdriver, then you can just use a flathead, perfectly fine. Same with upgrading right here. The pro upgrading the processor if you want to remove it. Three screws right here to remove it. Use a Torx screwdriver. T15. And it's got only, what is it, 4 gigs of RAM in here, and I'll upgrade to uh, 8 gigs. So here's the hard drive removed, and now uh, we're going to put it another one in here. So you see there, there are solid state drive, 2.5 inch. That's the original was in here, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to put the screws back on here, really easy, really quick. Just get the, the screws tight. So I'm just going to use the and just uh, connect the back, set in power like that, and slide it back in. Just like that, we're done. Now we're going to be upgrading the memory. And right here, there's a fan shroud right here for the fan. You just clip it, like, you press it up like this. Remove the fan, it comes out really easy. And uh, it's got only four gigs in here, and the memory it takes, guys, is a uh, PC. It's a DDR4 memory. I don't know if the camera's gonna focus or not. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's uh, four gigs, it's, it takes a PC4 2133P. This is a laptop memory, it's a DDR4. So you guys can see better, here's a picture uh, right here, you guys can go online and buy it, upgrade. But it will take uh, as much as 16, I think, for 8 gig per slot, but I'm upgrading a uh, total 8 gigs, so 4 gig per slot, because I got it, it only had 4 gigs, so upgrading uh, extra, extra memory here. So it's, uh, you guys can see, PC4 2133P, it's a DDR4 memory for the laptop. So we're going to go install it really easy, really quick. I'm going to zoom in, you guys show you guys. The way you do that is install like this. Really easy, really quick. And there's little pins right here, if you want to remove it, you press on it. Left and right. To release it. Show you guys again, you go press on the little clips from the left and right corner. Like this to remove it. And install it back. And so we got upgraded to a total of 8 gigs of memory in here. 
So let me put the back defense rod here. And I'm gonna reconnect back to, let me zoom out the camera, you guys can see better. Put the side cover panel. So guys, we upgrade to a different solid state drive. And we upgrade the memory total to 8 gigs. And we put the side cover back on. And to upgrade the processor, it's really easy right here. All you do is remove the three screws. One, two, three, and it comes right out. The, the heat sink comes out, there's a little bit of processor right there. So let me put the cover side cover back back on so that's it guys we upgraded the memory and we upgrade to solid state drive thanks for watching bye